Hello, and welcome to Movie Recap World. Today, we'll be recapping the first episode of the show, Tomorrow, where we follow a unique group of death angels who strive to save the lives of those who are contemplating suicide. By the way, if you got a chance to become a Green Reaper with other dead people, will you take the offer? The main character, Choi, gets himself in that situation and takes up on the offer. But what made him wanting to do so? Let's find out. This episode of Tomorrow starts as we follow the story of Choi Jong-woon, who finds himself working for the underground agency of Death Angels, aka Grim Reapers, after finding his life in a critical position. At the start of the show, we see a group of strangers making a suicide pact and deciding to take their lives jointly through an unknown social media account. They get the idea of locking themselves in a car and attempt to inhale exhaust gas. But before they could do that, a beautiful lady in a red suit named Gu Ryo arrives and spoils their plans. She then drives the horrified strangers to a bridge and attempts to run the car over. As the car barely hangs off from the bridge, the group realize that they want to stay alive. They plead with Gu Ryo to let them go as they try to make the best out of their lives. With that, Gu Ryo let them go. We then see a man named Choi jong woon interviewing for an internship at a top company. Choi is confident and phones his mom saying that he's going to land the job for sure. But he soon finds out that he was rejected over the nervous candidate who turns out to be the daughter of the company's chairman. Dejected, Choi complains to his friend that his life isn't working out very well. He isn't sure how he's going to tell his mother about the rejection. As he looks over from a bridge, just then, he sees a homeless man attempting to jump off the bridge. Choi quickly jumps in and stops the man from taking his life. The homeless man, however, is adamant about ending his life. Just then, Gu Ryo runs like a flash and kicks Choi away. This time, she has a man named Lim with her, who checks on Choi and confirms he's not hurt. Gu Ryo then tells the homeless man to jump off like he wanted to. Choi is perplexed to see her pushing for someone to end their life. This is actually a plan to make the homeless man realize his mistake, but Choi doesn't know it. While trying to stop the homeless man, they both end up falling from the bridge. As he's drowning, Choi sees memories of his mother and doesn't want to die and leave her alone. Luckily, Gu Ryo jumps in and saves both Choi and the homeless man. Choi later wakes up in the hospital and is extremely happy to be alive, but then he sees that he's just a soul and his body is resting in the bed. Gu Ryo then arrives and explains that she's a Green Reaper, or Angel of Death. Choi is scared that he's dead, but Gu Ryo explains that he's only in a coma and will wake up in three years. Since this wasn't supposed to happen, Gu Ryo takes Choi into the crisis management team for the Green Reapers, called Jumaldong. The director of the place is an old woman who is absolutely adored by the employees who tirelessly work to manage Jumaldong. Choi fails to recognize her as a director, so the director changes her attire. Later, at a team meeting, it is revealed that Gu Ryo was recruited to Jumaldong from hell, while the other Grim Reapers worked to send the dead one to afterlife. Whether it be heaven or hell, Gu Ryo was assigned the job to create a team that stops people from ending their lives before their fate. The discussion of suicide is very controversial in Jumaldong, and some believe it should be punished while Gu Ryo believes people should be given a chance. Meanwhile, the director then offers Choi a deal, he can either wait for three years and wake up from his coma naturally, or he can work for Jumaldong and shorten the coma time period to six months. She offers him a job, an employment opportunity that Choi has been chasing for months. Choi rejects the offer as he thinks that this is all a dream. So the director sends Choi back in his body, where he's unable to move and respond back to his mother. Choi then realizes that is the reality and accepts the offer to work for Jumaldong. The director then joins the meeting and says that the risk management team which deals with suicide cases is very important, as the country is facing a stark suicide rate. But since most of the Green Reapers are against Gu Ryan's risk management team and blame her for Choi's untimely accident, the director gives them one last chance to prove everyone wrong. If the team fails to do their task, the team will be disbanded. Following the meeting, Gu Ryan's asks the director for more personnel in her team. Just then, she gets notified of a young writer named Um Bai who is going to commit suicide. Before they head on their new mission, the director puts Choi on their team, which Gu Ryo strongly opposes. However, it's the director's decision, so they take Choi into their team. So, Gu Ryo, Lim, and Choi go to Umbi's workplace to see her. There they see that Umbai has a really tough life when she's about to get hit by a motorbike. Choi jumps in to try and save her. However, Gu Ryo pauses time and moves the bike slightly to save Umbai. They later pose as producers to get close to Umbai and find out why she wants to end her life. Turns out, Umbai is tasked to get an interview with a famous writer named Hai Wan. 
Mumbai wants to get away from interviewing Haiwan, but her boss wants to take the interview anyhow. During the interview, Goon Ryan and her team notice that there might be a connection between Umbai and Haiwan, as Umbai gets really nervous and leaves the interview abruptly. To find out the truth, Goon Ryan suggests they go into Umbai's memory. Just then, Lim gets notification that his working hour is off, so Goon Ryan has no option but to take Choi along with her. How many people do you think they will save, and do you think their project of stopping suicide is good for the world by any chance, or will it have a negative effect on it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for staying with us till the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to show us some love by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more exciting recaps. See you next time!